We return to Longhorn Weekly here, talking Texas volleyball on the program, and pleased to be joined by Tiffany Baker, who uh, came to Texas by way of Tennessee, originally by way of Hebron in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, if we get connect all the dots. So we are talking about a, a native Texan in that respect. How good does it feel for you to be on the court after having the knee injury, after going through rehab, transferring in all of those things? How It must feel really good to actually be out there and to be ready to go. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, obviously, coming in, I... Uh, really wanted to play against the best and um, compete against the best and um, my teammates were super supportive during my rehab process but it's been amazing to be back on the court with them and well the the, three years ago you go from Hebron to Knoxville Tennessee and then after two years there you decide to switch what 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 brought about the decision to transfer and become part of this program um, I just wasn't very happy volleyball wise. I loved the university and the school, but um, and the people, they were great, but just volleyball wise, I wasn't very happy. I, um, I was um, looking for a coaching staff that was more supportive, like all the way around, um, whether it was on the court, off the court, and just like a more family environment. And I feel like I got that here. You uh, transferred in 2013 in the book but you had the right knee injury while at Tennessee, and then you had to go through rehab. So what was that process like between the time you suffered the injury to transferring and going through rehab? How challenging was it to go through all the changes that you went through while you were trying to get a knee healthy? Yes, it was actually my left knee, but I landed I landed on my left leg all the time when I um, uh, landed, when I hit, and um, the process of trying to get that right was really hard, but just off the court, it was hard, I, but I learned a lot. I was, it was a very humbling experience. Um, I just had to stay positive, take it day by day, and um, my staff and my teammates were super helpful and supportive during that process. Now, I've always heard that for student athletes, a lot of times being able to trust the knee after a knee injury is like as big a hurdle to get over is just about the physical rehab itself. There's, there's that, that psychological trust thing that you're really, the first time you put it to the test. Would, did you have to go through that as well? Absolutely. Um, even now, because I, I, still, I still feel some pain with it when I land on it more so than my right knee. And um, even now, there's days where I just know I can't go as hard or I need to like pull myself out of some drills. But um, um, when I'm like doing what I'm supposed to do and landing on two feet balance, then there's no pain. I just have to really work on that and getting my feet to the ball. You went through a redshirt year. I've, I've heard coaches describe redshirt years. There are student athletes who have, quote unquote, good redshirt years and bad redshirt years. And the good redshirt years are the ones where the student athlete learns a lot during the time, even though he or she is not on the court or on the field as well. What did you learn during your redshirt year? I feel like I learned how to lead without being able to lead by example so much. I, was, I wasn't a very vocal leader before this, and I was more just like, do, do. And now I feel like I'm better with communicating with my teammates and um, being encouraging, but also being constructive, like being constructive with that criticism or something like that. But just like finding that balance, I feel like that red tree really helped me with that. And, um, helping me grow as a leader. I started to say some of those just getting a little older, growing a little bit more too? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I would say so, yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned about coaches being supportive is, is one of the reasons for transferring in. What what about your teammates? What, what, what were they like when you first got here and understanding you were transferring in, you, know, you were a native Texan, but here you were transferring in from Tennessee, you had a knee injury, you were going to have to go through a redshirt year. What was the dynamic like with your teammates while you were going through all that? <laughs> um, there was, I feel like there was obviously, like we're competitive, obviously, so there was a little tension, but um, once they knew that I was here to, you know, I was here just the same reason they were to win and work my butt off, so um, once I got to know them a little better, it was smooth sailing, I would say. You obviously were well aware and and knew about this standard of excellence that this program had achieved and accomplished and strives to do. Is is that a marked difference from being in other, not necessarily just Tennessee, but other places as well, where that expectation exists there with your teammates and with your coaching staff as a day by day routine to prepare to achieve that type of excellence? Um, not so much, actually. I was. I feel like I was pretty prepared for it. I, um, my high school coach was very hard on us and 
really pushed us to be great every day and every rep and not take um, anything for granted or anything, any plays off. So, um, and I would say my <laughs> Tennessee coach was very strict on that stuff too. So I feel like I was well prepared and um, ready for this environment. What do, you, what do you see out of this year's group from going through the preseason workouts and getting ready for this orange wide inter squad scrimmage? I would say that we are super competitive, a super competitive bunch and we're fun. And even though we're um, trying to beat each other up on the court, off the court, there's nothing but love. And that's a huge, I think that's a huge reason why we're going to be so successful this year. Uh, tell everybody a little bit, for example, Nicole Dalton's going to join us as, as well. I mean, what, what are some things you know about some of your teammates? Nicole would be an example of one that, that perhaps folks don't know about some of your teammates. Um, I would say for Nicole, she's maybe a little quieter on the court, but she is probably one of the most competitive people in the gym. And I think that goes for Chi as well. They're both a little quieter on the quieter side, but they're always, but they're very competitive and want to win every time they're on the court. I was going to ask you uh, <laughs> about Chiaco Obagu or Chi, as everybody's calling it, that, that you see that type of, uh, of drive within your teammates, no matter how vocal they are on the court? Yes, absolutely. Especially, she's actually, she's gotten a lot more vocal than she was last year. And I think that might come with the experience she's had and not being a freshman anymore, but um, at first, she was more on the quiet side, but she's been a lot more vocal and talking. What, what's your personal expectation for yourself? What, what you want to be able to do this year, as well as what these team expectations are all about? Um, you know, I just want to, every time I step off the court or on the court, I want to feel like I gave my all and not feel like I have any regrets. Um, and I think that doing that and being leading that way by example will help us succeed in our goals. So you, you're getting all excited thinking about, I'm actually going to be out yes. on the floor in a competitive situation. <laughs> yes. It really said, That's great. Well, thanks for the time. We appreciate you joining Thank us. Thank you. All right. Uh, we'll continue here. Longhorn Weekly continues in a moment.